All right, so when it comes to Terra Luna Classic, I made a video yesterday talking about raising the burn tax to what 0.6% and also talking about the 0.2% and saying how we do need to give it time. I think we still do need to give it time, but I wanted to talk about how, um, you know, I said yesterday and got caught up in the moment of seeing where the volume is and not understanding or even processing where that volume came from. Um, and saying that, oh, well, maybe it is making a difference with a lot of the bull runs that we are seeing um, with different cryptocurrencies. Um, but I wanted to talk about this and have a deeper conversation because as I saw that it is making a move or was making a move, um, you know, I, I kind of, there was a backtrack a little bit. You know, I, I wanted to look at it a little bit deeper and get an understanding of what it was and what the future dates was going to be, um, what it was gonna look like. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter at Perry8K. It does help out the channel quite a bit. So anyways, talking about Terra Luna Classic and talking about the burn tax is like, you know, I don't I don't really know how to compare it. It's like talking about peanut butter and also talking about jelly, right? That's you, you kind of have to do it at this point because uh the burn tax is a big part to where um the investors want to see growth from. Uh currently Terra Luna Classic is ranked 36th um by market cap. We're seeing a lot of volume, but depending on where that volume is depends on what the burn tax will will push out how much how many will be burned off um just by that burn tax we do have the binance burn and we have other burns that are happening community-based burns as well um but purely from a volume perspective we want to see certain amounts that are happening on chain in order to see a certain amount of burns so if we go into uh, Terra Luna Classic really quick, we talked about this uh, previously and where the price is, depending on when you're looking at this, this may be a different price, maybe a higher price, lower price, depending on what's happening today in the markets. But currently, you know, we're sitting at 2545 uh, in price. But if we look at the volume, that's one thing that we just want to focus on here today is the volume. And I kind of hinted on this in my previous video, uh, talking about Terra Luna Classic and the update. Um, you're going to see that CEX volume is at $462 million, but DEX volume is sitting at about $551,000. Now, out of that DEX volume, you're looking at 0.2% of that that's going to flow through um, the burn tax. And that is not a lot of coins that's going to flow through it. It's, it's a lot of dollars compared to what individuals hold, but it's not as much as we thought it would be in the beginning when we when we uh, decided to vote on the 1.2%, thinking that CEXs were going to uh, implement the 1.2% as well. Um, so um, when we look at the burn tax and we look at that volume, I was really excited yesterday looking at the volume from the 27th. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's go over to Terra Station and let's go into the main portal. And you're gonna see here, if we go into Luna, First of all, you're going to see the taxes 0.2%. But I got really excited because I'm seeing $10 billion or 10 billion coins, and then it jumps to 208 billion coins. And I was like, all right, well, maybe this is making a move. And that was kind of the heat of the moment type of thing. Didn't realize what I was actually looking at there. But apparently, you know, you have a lot of validators that came on board. Um, that's new validator day. So that's why you're seeing 208 billion coins that are flowing on chain versus off chain. Um, so yes, you're going to see a lot of burns that are going through for that specific day, but it doesn't mean that it will remain consistent. If you look at the next day, you're going to see that it's right back down to 14.86 billion. Yes, we are seeing an increase in volume, um, compared to this day, but it's still not enough, not even close to where we, we should be, um, when it comes to on-chain volume. So However, we can find a way to increase on-chain volume would be great. You know, the buy button, we're still in conversations with that. I know that's definitely getting uh, closer as they're having conversations without me. And I understand people are calling and calling me and saying, hey, 
Um, didn't you create this proposal and now they're taking the lead without even consulting you? I don't care if people are consulting me. This is the difference between me and other people. I don't care that people are consulting me or, or coming to me and saying, hey, what should we do next? I don't have the, the technical knowledge to break all of this stuff down, to do all this stuff. So everybody else is doing it and we can, we can talk about that in a, in a deeper session or a deeper video. Um, everybody else that's doing it, it's great. If they can get it done faster without me, then get it done. It's not about, I will try and create um, as much hype and belief in, in this position in, in the buy button as well and make, and make sure that people understand what the goal is here and kind of break it down um, you know, in simple terms, in the simplest way I can. And then hopefully more people will believe in the buy button. But and when it comes to the technical stuff, you can go ahead and do that, and um, I will let people know what's happening as time goes on. Because right now we're getting you know closer and closer to getting something like this done. Um, but anyways, um, now to get back on topic, we're looking at this burn and we can or the total volume. And I talked about it, and it was kind of a heat of the moment type of thing, um, not realizing that you know that's the reason why we had this larger increase, and now we're back to normal. Um, so we need to find a way to completely change the dynamic of investing in Terra Luna Classic. Understand that Terra Station is very valuable and understand that holding it in the wallet, uh, buying it in the wallet, staking it in the wallet, uh, making sure you have coins in your wallet so that you can buy other things, have a play to earn game, play to burn game, all of these other things that you want to have with Terra Luna Classic, you can get with Terra Station. So that's really what I wanted to focus on. I understand the 0.2% is um, a low amount and it's gonna come back to the conversation of if it's enough, but I still think we need to give it time. Um, if we don't give this a month, it's gonna look like we're just indecisive. We need to make sure we, we keep these decisions, don't jump to conclusions, uh, make sure that we have data behind it, we have research behind it. Um, as to if the tax is too low, if people, uh, you know, are just going over to these CEXs because it's just easier. Um, and th I think that's the reason. They're going over to the CEXs because of greed and and the fact that it's easier. You can buy over on, on uh, Binance and KuCoin, and then they could send it over to Terra Station, but why would they risk the double fee for something like that? Why would they risk the 0.1% and then the 0.2%? Like, they're risking 0.3% of their entire position just by buying it over there and sending it over here. So most people don't want to do that. So that's a greed uh, form and then also a, a um, ease of use, right? You, you want to be able to stake it over there. I believe you can stake it over on Binance. So it, it just makes it easy for them, easy for those investors. You know, I bought on crypto.com and sent it over. It was, it was cheap. It wasn't that expensive. Um, depending on when you're buying it, if you're buying maybe a limit price or a limit order or whatever, uh, because sometimes those market orders, they give you the highest price that you're buying at, um, which, which sucks, but still, and you're getting less coins. Um, but then when it comes to transferring it, it's not that expensive. Um, but anyways, that's where I stand with, um, this. I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, I changed my tone very, very quickly. As soon as I saw this next day, because I tried to look and I was like, Oh, well maybe this is it. And then I forgot. And I, I remembered, I was like, all right, well, why is it 208 billion? And I was like, Oh, that's the reason. So let's hope that we can increase this volume up to 30, 40, 50, 60. Um, so yeah, this is just bringing back my point that, uh, 0.2% may not give you that 6x increase that you want in volume, but what will do that is being able to easily buy Terra Luna Classic on Terra Station, being able to have different use cases for Terra Luna Classic on Terra Station in your wallet. So let's let's take the time, let's uh, build all of these things that we're trying to build, be patient, don't um, you know kind of assume things aren't working uh, because of it. So, uh, <laughs> even though I'm sort of assuming it with the titles and stuff, but I, I want to let you know that I'm not fully assuming that it's not working at all. I just don't think that it will grow 6x. So anyways, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.